Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech with Solutions here with another Whiteboard Wednesday. And what I wanna talk about today are kind of fake outs, right? Especially when you're someone that day trades reversals like I do, things don't always go according to plan. And people think that you can always identify fake outs. And at least in my experience, I'm gonna to try to the best of my ability, just try to explain there are a series of ways to minimize the times that you put yourself in a position where you can get faked out and how to at least reduce it, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, something can get confirmation of a reversal and then all of a sudden any form of news can be shared which can ultimately act as a positive catalyst to, in a sense, fake you out with that false reversal and then end up recovering. So at the end of the day, there's never a perfect way to identify fake outs, but there are a series of steps that you can take to minimize the amount of times that you enter a position, especially when you don't have overall confirmation. So you guys might be asking, well, first off, what is a reversal? One of the things that I personally like to trade is an example that I want to give you today is I trade a lot of SQs and TQs, which is TQQQ that goes up when NASDAQ goes up and SQQQ, which goes up when NASDAQ goes down. So they're inverse ETFs. They're just my niche, they're my focus. And whatever the case may be, I just wanna use them as an example. Today, when the market opened, TQs began to indicate signs of an uptrend. So it became super overbought, where the RSI, the MACD, all of that, again, we like to use those as references, never a specific reason on why we choose to take that position. But it became so overbought based off of previous trading prices that it was approaching a resistance level. And when I see that, again, I like to trade reversals, I begin to take a small position size. So I take like a 10% position size of what I normally trade with. And an example can be if you trade with $1,000 that you enter with $100 until you have confirmation that it breaks below the EMA line, that it begins to make lower lows because when this begins to sell off, the inverse, which is what I was uh, trading, then goes up. So then once we get confirmation that forward slash NQ breaks below the EMA line and indicates signs of a downtrend, then SQQQ goes up. So once we have confirmation, I can add more to my position size. But one of the things that we experienced today is like you guys are seeing right now, forward slash NQ is thriving today, which is absolutely amazing. And if you guys have noticed for the past two to three days, it pulled back a little bit and it looks like as of today, it is recovering what it lost for the past two to three days. So right now, TQs and forward slash NQ is very bullish and it is creating a lot of false reversals, meaning that it's showing signs of a potential resistance. It begins to consolidate at a specific price point. It begins to indicate signs of almost a descending pattern, and then it quickly recovers and then makes new highs. And this is where these fake outs tend to happen. And one of the best things that I can say is, as of right now, as you guys can see somewhere on the screen, I took a little bit over, first of all, I took a little bit over of a $300 loss, then it went up to a $500 loss, and then I was able to recover at a $300 loss for the day. And this is just the position that I put myself in is, although I was being very careful with my position size, if you tuned into the live trading session today, uh, my trading wasn't perfect, but my position size was not super aggressive. Why? Because I was trading SQs, that again is the inverse. And as TQs became overbought, it made sense on why I was waiting for the opportunity on SQs to present itself, but I continued and continued to enter with a very small position size, and I had to cut losses three times, which ended up adding up to, again, my $300 red day as of right now. And what I wanna cover is how can someone like myself, right, that maybe is watching this video, not put themselves in a position where they get faked out as often. One of the things that I've talked about multiple times is the three stages of confirmation, right? When something sells off, this is rejection. When something consolidates, it's trying to find a support. It's the consolidation phase. And then we get confirmation. This is what we tend to see very often, or vice versa, when something approaches a resistance level, it reaches a resistance level, it begins to consolidate, and then it ends up selling back off, right? So this is kind of like the pattern that we have going on here. There's the rejection, consolidation, and then confirmation. We never actually got full on confirmation on SQs today. So if you really ask yourself, should I have taken those series of trades on SQs, a lot of people can say no. And they can say whatever it is that they want to say because that might be their approach or their trading style. And I do agree, if with that approach, I would have not put myself in a position where I would have had to cut losses three times. But one of the things that I like to do is 
during the consolidation phase, I don't like to go all in with my position size. I just like to go with around 10 or 20%, a fraction of what I normally trade with to get some skin in the game. So if we do get confirmation, I can then follow up and average up as it indicates signs of an uptrend. Unfortunately, TQs is simply just very bullish today. So the whole premise of this video is, although I personally do like trading reversals, if you are someone that wants to be even more conservative when trading and allowing an opportunity to present itself, then waiting for full on confirmation would in a sense be one of the best ways to avoid fake outs. TQ's never really broke its pattern and continued to indicate signs of an uptrend. And although it was showing signs of it being overbought, it never corrected itself because it's so bullish on the day. And this is just one of the things that we also talked about within the Learn Plan Profit live trading session today is that TQ's and forward slash NQ, the overall market right now is a freaking machine. It, it's a machine and again, some days are very rewarding where I can hit over $1,500 profit within one to two hours. And and there's other days like this where I just even struggle to stay green because the overall direction is not in my favor or I'm put in a position where now I personally think, and you guys can let me know in the comment section, I now feel like TQs is very overbought, very bullish, but it's so overbought that I don't wanna buy TQs right now because it has a lot of downside. But then I'm also put in a pickle because SQs is very oversold, so it could be viewed as a good deal, but it's very bearish, so it could continue to sell off. So in this case, again, when I already took numerous poor trades during the live trading session, I just decided to walk away and understand that today is just not my day, and then start fresh tomorrow. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this explanation on reversals. I think one of the best ways to avoid fake outs is to simply do your part and being more selective on when you choose to actually buy, because if you you buy before confirmation of a reversal, then you're just putting yourself at a greater form of risk. And I do agree with you that sometimes it can be rewarding by you being able to buy a little early because then your upside margin is a little bit greater. But again, by you buying early, it just means that you're putting yourself at a greater form of risk or experiencing a false reversal. So I really hope that you learned something new in this video. If you guys did, I hope that you guys absolutely destroy that like button. And don't forget to stay connected. You guys can click the first link down below to connect with a little bit over 288,000 like-minded individuals. And again, if you guys want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, join us tomorrow at Market Open. And that's that second link down below to learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Proper Group. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, team.